New this week, a group of, group of Monroe residents is suing a restaurant over false advertising. Yeah, the suit says East Frank Supperette and Kitchen is using their photos in altering them, placing advertisements over them. You might remember we first started following the story last year. Some community members were protesting the restaurant's drag show, saying children should not be allowed inside during the performances. Well, the restaurant tells WCNC Charlotte it's the Guardian's choice to bring a minor with them. WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker is following the developments and breaks down this lawsuit. The action shows the photo evidence where the plaintiffs say East Franks took their photos and altered them. Now, the original shows uh, pictures from a protest, but the altered ones have advertisements over it. In the heart of downtown Monroe, East Frank Superette and Kitchen has been a hot topic. For the past year, backlash from some in the community over drag show performances, taking issues with children being allowed in the audience. And new this week, the controversy hits the courts. A lawsuit coming down this week from community members against the restaurant alleging false advertising. This is conduct that's gone on for many, many months. Jason Sneed, an attorney representing the plaintiff, says the suit states East Franks reportedly used photos from protesters and then altered the images. In this one, you can see on the left the original picture, two women protesting the drag shows, and on the right, the modified image, this time a poster promoting the drag show event with protesters holding signs telling customers to secure tickets. And in another, the same effect, signs against the drag shows covered up, instead highlighting East Frank's burrito special. The restaurant in Monroe, East Frank Superette and Kitchen, has been taking their photos and manipulating them to create the false impression online that the citizens are in fact supportive of the restaurant. Well, ultimately, I would like to see children protected. Michelle Ball is one of the people who's a part of this suit and is seen in some of the changed photos. She says she wants the drag shows to stop altogether and hopes the lawsuit will ensure that. If it's not your kid, why do you care? So I care about children. Um, I care about the children in our community. In response to the suit, Carly Englander, the owner of East Frank Superette and Kitchen, says they in part, quote, believe this lawsuit to be politically motivated. But this leaves the question, is changing the photos legal? East Frank Superette probably um, needs to hire a lawyer. Gary Monty, an attorney not affiliated with this suit, says no. You have to have their consent uh, before you can do that. He says the image altering violates the Lanham Act. It's a federal law which protects people from false advertising and explains it using an example easy to understand. You can't take a private individual's likeness without their permission and without paying them, and then you use that to uh, sell a product. Both sides wondering now how this will play out in court. The plaintiffs are seeking monetary damages, but we do not know what that number is at this time. In Monroe, Austin Walker, WCNC Charlotte.